we've just received a big shipment of Orca products. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got a fresh restock of OE1 speed controllers. Where are we going? We're going overhead. Oh, I was just going to focus it first. Um, so the OE1 speed controller, which overhead. is their mm -hmm. top line speed controller. <clears throat> this one here. Yep. Um, yeah, that'll, that'll do all your modified applications. Rated at like 200 amps. Um, yeah, fully tunable. Um, and it's on a lot of top line racing cars. Um, we'll also do the other classes can go to blinky mode and do all that stuff with ease um, because it can handle so much current. How, what turn rating can you go down to about three and a half? Three and a half. <laughs> three and a half, I think, for these ones. Got so, it. and this will operate on uh, up to 2S. I nice. think they're rated like 2S rating, which is, yeah, just purely for it's very focused, isn't one tenth it? racing, yeah. whether it's on road or off road. Um, yeah, one tenth racing. So, that is really cool. That's their premium OE1 that we've got that back. Um, a step down from that. Well, this this intrigues me because this is so small, isn't it? And it's still a hundred and twenty amp unit, so it's that would be tighter, right? Eh? Yep. So we can see you have to go zoom right up. It is absolutely tiny. Um, this is where you sold your wires onto. Uh, it's still a hundred and twenty amp unit. Doesn't have external provisions for a fan mount because it just doesn't get hot with anything down to because it'll run down to ten and a half turns. Yep. Just tilting and see how thin it is. Look at that. You can see my blue tape. Oh, that's a, that's a magic trick, right? Can't show that. And it's so tiny. Otherwise, every time I slam the cabinet drawer, all my, my stuff falls over. So I like the gold plating. It's really, really nice. It's good quality stuff. So, oh, and that's called the OE101. Um, okay. This is the same program box as the OE1. Okay. Yep. Has, I think, nearly all of the same features. It will, in fact, do turbo and boost and that sort of stuff. Yep. Right. Um, but only goes down to 10 and a half turns. Being okay. 120 amps. 2S as well? 2S as well, Beautiful. yep. Yep, we do have 1S versions of both of them for top scale races. Oh, cool. Um, but yeah, so that's the OE101 speed controller, just, electronic speed controller. Just, and that would be perfect for, um, yeah, they mainly use it in, in the junior classes. I mean, 95% of people race in the stock spec classes. Yep. Yeah which is 21, 17.5, um, and 13.5 motors. Yeah. And that speed controller will do it really, really easily with all the functions and features of the OE1. <clears throat> nice. It's so small. Yeah. No and you're saving, you can see that, yeah, how the difference in the thickness and stuff. So if performance and saving weight as you go, which stock is usually about, yeah. um, that's why the OE101 performs so well. No, nice. Very, very nice. So another thing that we've we've had a restock of is the Mod Train and the Blit Train 2 motors. So they call their stock range um, Blit Train 2. Yep. Um, there's been no updates or anything there, but we've got a fresh restock of all the all the current motors. Yep. So the most common, for, like I said, for stock is 21, 17, and 13.5. Yep. So I've got a full range of those. They're all raw approved and legal for racing. Beautiful. Um, and then we've got all the modified wines back in. So four and a half, five and a half. Yeah. It's a bit, that, a bit that, talky on the on the magnet. That magnet, man. I can barely turn it. This one's yeah. Crazy. Yeah, like, no, so these have got the fully opened on cases. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really good calling. Mm. So they're definitely not a cheap motor, but they're definitely stock stock motors. You can spend like two hundred and eighty dollars on these suckers. Yeah. And there's no need for it. You can go just as well, um, you know, with with like the Orca range of Blit Train two motors. Um, as long as you've got them tuned right, you know. Yeah, of course. Mm. So for most people, that is more than enough, and they're really well priced. They've got really, really good quality bearings in them, um, and they'll last for years if you look after them. Nice. Yep. So that is the uh, that is the uh, Orca ESCs and motors. So I've got this question from uh, Anthony. He wants yep. to know how do you program them? How do you program them? Yeah. With a program box. Yeah. I actually I forgot to bring a program box. So there's a specific there's a, one. Yes. So Orca make a in program the case box behind you. Yeah. Are you going in there? We can even do a live demonstration. Can we? If you really want to. Not recorded. Live. Live. There is the Orca nice. uh, OE1, OE101 program box. Okay. Um, and that is just plug and play. So that'll just plug into a little port on the speed controller here. Yep. And that's how you access all your parameters oh, and tuning options. I like that it uses a separate plug stuff because a lot, a lot of time with um, like hobby wing and stuff like that, you have yep. to pull it out of here. Yeah. You have to pull it, you have to undo your cables and everything like that's that. Right. So having oh, a separate yeah. port, that's really good. Yeah. It makes it super easy. Yeah. It plugs in and plugs out. There's no Wi Fi to connect. There's no phone apps. Yep. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, it's good, sounds good in, 
in theory, all these things, but yep. in practice, yeah, you got to turn it off, turn it on, Bluetooth's not working, bad connection. Turn everything off and on again. That's right. And this then thing, you just plug and play. Um, it tells you all your data and your data logging as well as yep. your tuning options. So Orca stuff is really good, really good quality, really happy to have full range back in. Nice. Another thing we got from Orca this shipment was their batteries, mm -hmm. the new Infinite X batteries. Um, and they've got this really bespoke sort of labeling on it. Yeah. So like real stealthy. Yeah, real stealthy. Real stealthy. Um, so this is the 4290 um, ultra low center of gravity pack. Yep. Um, bring it back. Oops. Bring it back. Yeah. Where are you going? I don't know. I can't see. Are you trying to look? I'm trying to focus. It's focused. Is it focused? Oh, it's not there. Sure? Yeah. There it How's is. That? It's focused. All right. How good's that? The focus is. So you can see here, yeah, it's got really stealth, um, really neat looking batteries, five mil bullet plugs mm -hmm. which is really common in the racing scene these days most people run that and that's a 4290 and that is perfect for um modified applications mostly they'll use that is that just to keep the weight down to keep the weight down so you can put your excess Super weight speed. where you want it yep um because you don't need like the full grunt of what the bigger packs are 5490 Oh, is that because so, you're running like a super low turn motor, so you yeah. don't need the extra So you've hands. got all the power and everything in your motor. It doesn't yep. have to be in your battery, whereas the stock motors actually need it. it sounds silly, but the stock motors actually need a bigger battery to run to run a bit harder. Yep. Oh, there you go. And, and you there go. we have a on-road pack, and that is a 6390, and that is what you'd use in 21.5 or 13.5. Again, modifieds will usually use a smaller pack than that. Yep. But, yeah, that is a super high punch um, pack 135C again with the five mil connectors, really neat. Um, and Orca packs are really common, really popular because they're so robust again, you know, and they perform they so perform it's, really you're consistently. The rubbery bits on the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's so you can actually flip it around depending on where you want yeah, yeah. the positive and negative. Depends to be. on your install, yeah, exactly. So there is an industry standard to have it like that, but if you're if you're super special and want your wiring super neat in a given application, then you yep. can flip it upside down. Yep. Yeah, of course. Um, which makes it makes it really cool and really universal mm. until Beautiful. you lend your battery to somebody and they blow their speed controller up. Cool, I'm scared. I've seen that before. Yeah. yeah. Don't know yeah. I don't know anyone who hasn't done it. No, no, no. And I'd hate to say that I'm actually due for it as well, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs>